So this, ladies and gentlemen, is the Good Ride review of the Pencil Plus. It's It's been a fun board. I just keep riding it. It's just got like a pretty medium stiff flex, very lively. It's, it's very poppy, but you can butter off the tail and the nose if you, you know, if you're feeling adventurous to lean that far forward and get over it. Very light. This felt lighter than I've been riding this mainly against my puzzle. So they're both really great snow surfers. And the biggest thing I noticed was the weight. Um, there is a significant difference in weight with the Plus series. And um, they're a little more poppy, a little more dynamic. Check the on the table review. You can see that it's mostly camber with some early rise in the nose. The way this rides on snow is very surfy and tapered. Here's the biggest thing that, that blows my mind is when I like get on the puzzle, everything spec wise is, is, is the same. Effective edge, everything, except for the running length on this is just a little bit longer. Uh, I think it's a centimeter longer. So, you know, it just goes to show that what's on paper doesn't translate to snow always and the specs that you get aren't the full picture it's just a little window into the world of this design uh, there's so many other elements i really expected the pencil and the puzzle to almost ride the same i thought it was just like the puzzle with a slight take on tail and just a little bit longer but no, it's a totally different board in so many ways. There's a lot of similarities, but the biggest thing for me is the more I ride this, the more I'm figuring it out, is that puzzle likes a more surfy off the tail turn. You can slash the tail a little more and it, it's definitely more um, fun to cruise and to turn like this. Now the pencil really wants to kind of like the more I ride it, the more I'm understanding it. It really wants to drive and go like this, and you can still lay out a hard carve, but where when I was on the puzzle, I was off the back foot. I felt like I could even ride a duck or bring it all the way forward and in the middle, and I was just turning and slashing and having fun. With the Pencil Plus here, I felt like everything needed more drive off the front foot and you were surfy, but um, it definitely did, going from one board to the other, there was definitely a learning curve for me. I don't know how to describe it, but I felt like I needed to lean more, drive off the front foot, and let the back foot be a little more quiet than you would think for how much taper there's on there, um, that, that's on there. And when I did that, I just felt like I kept building out of each turn and getting faster and faster and more exciting in it. It really, um, it's really more of an aggressive surfy shape that really wants to drive. And, and yeah, it can still slash and turn and everything like that, but it's more drivey. Now, when it comes to edge hold, I, I felt like it was pretty good. You know, you got that standard side cut. It grips really well for what it is. It can handle hard snow, but it really doesn't wanna, you really gotta dial back your turns and really kind of ride differently after that. The overall, like turn initiation you can get it going really quick the biggest thing i noticed was how fast the turn initiation is for how wide it is uh, for my size 9 boots um, going from the auto to this and um, to other boards i was like wow this thing turns quick you, you know if you want to dart through some uneven snow it's a big board but it turns much smaller than you would think the turning experience is just brilliant it's very unique though and it it takes a certain type of style. It really likes that forward driving, build speed on every turn and really carve hard. That's what it likes. Carving is just amazing. That's what you get this board for. If you want a, an aggressive surfy carve, if you want a more laid back carve, then you want the puzzle. Speed, this picks up some pretty decent speed. I felt much more comfortable on the regular Karua series boards. I haven't ridden the pencil. Um, I've only ridden the Pencil Plus, but I feel more comfortable, even though this is a little more gunny and a little more straight liney than the Puzzle, I felt like the Puzzle could handle the chatter better, even though I felt more comfortable um, 
in the way I was pointing it with this one, if that makes sense. Uh, but you know, that's what you trade for these plus, these ultralight kind of boards. You're trading weight for dampness. And I didn't feel like there was as much of a trade-off as you normally get when you go this light. So that's pretty cool. It felt a little chattery, but not that bad at all. Powder, I wish I had some powder, but let me just put it to you this way. Based on the puzzle and my powder experience with the puzzle, I've gotten it in some pretty decent powder. Um, I don't see why this wouldn't be any different. I mean, it'll just kind of like, it sounds like the same personality will carry over uh, the difference between the two. It'll be a little more drivey, but you can still slash and really have fun in powder. And that little bit of extra size, you know, that three centimeters will, will probably help a little bit on float. But who knows, you know, they're both same setback on side cut, uh, very similar setback on board. So all in all, it's it's a really unique personality. That's all I can say is it just, just shocked the hell out of me how different it was from my puzzle. And it puzzles me that uh, the pencil has such a, like, you know, different personality, even with all those similar specs. And it just goes to show there's so much you can't surmise from specs on, you know, on their site and on any site. It, there's always a surprise. Um, so there you have it.